poem the bird's bath continued good morning children today we will do the book exercises of the poem the bird's bath come to the next page of the poem the first exercise is a write t for true and f for false for these sentences number 1 there was a pool in the garden the answer is true number 2 the pool was lined with petals the answer is false it was lined with pebbles number 3 the water in the pool was clean the answer to this is true number 4 the robins did not fly down to drink water the answer to this is false as the poem says that the robins definitely had water there and also had a bath number 5 the robins sang sweetly answer is true now we turn to the next page exercise a find words in the poem that are opposites to these words number 1 empty the opposite to empty is full number 2 low opposite of low is high h i g h high number 3 up opposite of up is down d o w n down Number four, dull. Opposite of dull is bright. B r i g h t, bright. Now we come to the next exercise. Imagine you are in a garden. Write three things that you see and three things that you hear. The things that you hear. Number one, things that you see. Number one. flowers f l o w e r s flowers number 2 green grass g r e e n green g r a s s grass number 3 trees t r e e s trees we come to the next column things i hear Number one, birds chirping. That is the sound of birds. B i r d s birds chirping. C h i r p i n g chirping. Number two, water gurgling. The sound of water when there is a fountain. W a t e r water gurgling. G u r g l i n g gurgling. Number three, wind rustling. Rustling is the sound of wind. W i n d wind, rustling. R s r u s t l i n g rustling. Children, do this work both the pages of the exercises of the poem very neatly in your book, and learn the poem well.